Well, it's all very well talking about gladiators, but what was it like to be one? Well, there's only one way to find out. Mike Lodes is a theatrical fighter ranger and knows as much as anyone about what gladiators actually did. Of course, he teaches people how to fight for show, but after all, that's what gladiators were expected to do. In order to be the sports superstars of the day, which they were, they would have to fight with a degree of style. They would have to have the panache. They would be able to move in big shapes and make the thing look dramatically exciting. But that is, is not phony. That, that is fighting well. It will teach me to be a gladiator. Well, the first thing we need to do is build you up a bit. Oh, and the practice... I was afraid you might have yeah, said that. Well, <laughs> the, practice, the training is over here yeah. at the Pell. Right. OK, guys. Have a go with that. Okay. Oh, it is heavy, isn't it? It is a little. Yeah, a couple of hours of that, though, and you'll yeah, feel fine. Yeah. Now, I think we should just have the glasses off, oh, however. Right. <laughs> think that okay, so, steam um, OK, so I'm going to go... Oh, sorry, sorry. Keep it in with a wrong bit of the sword. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> OK, keep it going. Intention in those blows. There were many different kinds of gladiators, each with his own special armour and weapons. They were all supposed to be different enemies of Rome, from history or from fantasy. But as Mike showed me, the first thing they all had to learn was to fight with no kit at all. The first gladiators just had swords, but they were soon pitted against men with other weapons, like a spear. Obviously, it's a throwing weapon, but it could also be used for the thrust, and the sharp blades of the head could be used for wide, swinging cuts. The hole could be used as a staff weapon. They also used it for throwing at each other. The trouble with throwing weapons is it's a terrible way to disarm yourself. One option is to try and catch the weapon, turn it and throw it back again. They liked to set different styles of warrior against each other. The classic combination was the netman, the retarius, with his trident, against the mermelon, with bits of scaly armour and a fish-tailed helmet. These were fantasy warriors. Neptune, the fisherman, versus the sea monster. But how could a man with a sword be beaten by a man using a net? The properties of the net are it obviously has a dramatic function for the final entrapment of the mermilon. The perimeter rope was weighted. It lead weights all around the perimeter rope. Therefore, the net itself can be used as a strike weapon in its own right, rather like a chain. The net is quite slow in flight. The mermilon would simply move out of the way. Monk you, it doesn't seem much of a weapon, really, does it? I mean, I don't feel exactly trapped by this net. I have to say, if I was a fish, maybe I would. 